So today we are going to track this footage from my upcoming short film Anomaly which is badly captured. So you can see that there is no tracking markers on it. It's not completely useless so we can use this in PF track. So let's get started again. When you first open PF track it looks like alien interface. Don't get scared of it so I am with you. To work in PF track we are going to follow these steps. Auto tracking, camera solving and orienting the scene then export. On PF track first you need to create and save the project file. Make sure you add right frame per second which is the most important point on tracking. After all done click to confirm. Go to right side of the panel and select the footage. Now drag that footage and move to the left side so that we can work on it. For this project I am using PNG sequences. You can use any format but I highly suggest you PNG or JPG sequences because it gives you best results. Check your footage and frame rate. If it is not correct then change it. First we need to add auto track to our clip. We right click on the footage. You can see there are many options. There are different types of tracking options. So right now we need to choose auto track. But we can't do auto track right now because our subjects are moving. So we need to mask them out. So down left there is a button called mask. Click on it and there is a different panel over here. So we can choose different selection mode for masking. I choose explain tool for masking this character. You can choose any selection tool for masking. After masking the subject, you can go frame by frame and adjust this mask. Instead of adjusting every point on mask, you can move whole shape by pressing control and drag. After tracking the first subject, now we are going to mask second subject by auto tracking the shape. Click forward tracking button for tracking forward. Auto shape tracking is doing the best for tracking your shape. But uh, sometimes we need to adjust it to make the mask cover on character. After done masking, you can check if your mask is properly covered or not. Then uncheck the mask button. Now you can see the auto track button is active. Now go to the right side and click the auto track. It will take some time to analyze the frame and gives the best results. After auto tracking, now we need to go for camera solving. Right click on auto track tab. In solving, go for camera solving. Now simply go to the camera solving tab and select solve all. Right now it's solving the camera quickly. Now you can see the solid tracking points. But you can see your grid is not line up because its point of origin is different. So we need to fix this by adjusting its scene orientation. On the right side corner you can see the view split panel. By clicking it you can see the point cloud system. You can move around in this panel by left click and for zooming use middle mouse button. And for panning the scene you can use right click. Now to orient the scene properly you need to add next layer called orient scene. By right click on camera solver, go to the utilities and select orient scene. Now to see the changes we need to open second panel. Now on the settings go to the orientation. In the edit mode select translate which can move the scene to the XYZ direction or you can choose rotation mode. I am going to adjust the scene by these methods. After editing a while I noticed it's not properly oriented. In most of the cases it works but in some cases you feel that it's not lining properly. So we need to go for third method which is axis mode. 
In access mode, you can see there are three colors of lines on the screen, which represent access of the scene. And we need to line up these lines to our scene. From the right side panel, you can reference your axis color. In this case, red is for X axis, green is for Y axis and blue is for Z axis. From the left side panel, you can see I just line up the red line to the wall base. For a quick note, you need to line up more than one line of same color to get accurate results. Now I'm going to quickly line up the rest of the lines, which is Y and Z axis. After these adjustments, grid is nicely lined up. Now simply move grid to the base by using transit mode. If there is anything need to change then change it. After doing all this you can check the footage if it is lined up or not. Now you can see our tracking and orientation is done. We are going to export this file to the native softwares. For exporting this again we need to right click on orient scene tab and select export. Right now I'm exporting for Cinema 4D. So the format must be Autodex 2010 FBX. Now choose your location and for the most important point the scale it needs to be 100 for Cinema 4D. For Blender users you can choose the format Colletta DAE and the scale as default. Now hit the export scene. Now open your native 3D software. In this case I'm using Cinema 4D. When you open your scene you get the 3D point cloud system and camera. Now you have the good track. Now you can do anything you want. I know this is not a detailed introduction video for PF track, but soon I'm going to create a detailed introduction video about PF track and its all features. So this is for now. Thank you for watching and supporting this channel. And for more videos like this, you can subscribe to this channel. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and be awesome.